and welcome back to a brand new video. And so we are back for our best of 2021 series and today we are discussing moisturizers. And for me personally, moisturizers are essential to use in the morning and also the evening for my skin. I have combination skin, which is also acne prone. So really trying to find a moisturizer that is suited to my skin type and my skin concerns is definitely a challenge in itself. However, being the skincare enthusiast and avid skincare consumer I am, I really do trial and test out so many moisturizers on a frequent basis. And so yeah, I have 10 moisturizers to show you today that I've just exceeded the standards of what I want in a moisturizer in terms of formulation, consistency, and results shown as well. And they all really do kind of range in terms of summer moisturizers, winter moisturizers, and mix of Western moisturizers and also Korean moisturizers as well. Um, all at different price points, which again, I think is so incredibly important to share the best of both worlds with you. And so first up is the Satcha Eosolic Acid and Retinal Overnight Reform, which is a blooming mouthful to say. However, this is an incredible product, especially if you are sort of seeking a rat, uh, a retinal product that um, delivers on efficacy and packs a punch without the you know common irritation and the discomfort side effects. And so it's got 0.05% stabilized retinaldehyde, which you know is just up there in terms of the gold standard retinoid family. Um, it's got Vicuchiol in there, which is a great antioxidant. And speaking of antioxidants, it's got the likes of superoxide, Dismutase, <laughs> you know, that fantastic antioxidant that's in the Neod Mist. We've also got black cumin oil, which is another fantastic antioxidant, and the likes of ginger root extract as well. We've got glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, niacinamide in here. So, really, it is just a well formulated, well, not well formulated, incredibly well formulated product that is going to target multiple different skin concerns and that is suitable for so, so many different people. And it does come in at the pricier side of the spectrum. However, this is absolutely absolutely 100% worth it. You are putting your money into a brilliant product by a brilliant brand with brilliant, brilliant results. And this, oh, it's just absolutely extraordinary. And the attention to detail that the founder of this brand has is just incredible. And up next, of course, it is the Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. This is absolutely wonderful because it just whacks that hydration into your skin. It really soothes the skin down, cooling effect without menthol or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it just absolutely delivers on that hydration and gives the skin a really glowy, dewy, natural look, which we all absolutely want. And of course, it's got that 92% concentration of snail secretion filtrate, which is going to whack that hydration in there. It's going to calm down any irritation or inflammation, and it's really going to sort of, you know, help alongside prevention of premature aging. The consistency is super lightweight and slimy, just as you would expect. Um, but yeah, absolutely perfect for the hot summer months of the year and also for combination oily skin type. And then speaking of lightweight gel moisturizers, we have got one of the best finds of this year and the best launches of this year. And that is the Dr. Sarah Cole Vegan Kombucha Tea Gel Cream. So this is just absolutely incredible. And especially if you are such a fan of the Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence by Dr. Sarah Cole, you will love this cream. It's just absolutely everything I want in terms of a moisturizer being lightweight, but nourishing and hydrating for the skin. It provides antioxidant support, soothing support as well, and just really helps to keep your skin in check. It's got ingredients like niacinamide, green tea extract in there. It's also got Saccharomyces ferment filtrate, which is, you know, that yeast that's really gonna sort of thrive on the skin and really help help to maintain a healthy skin barrier and also a healthy microbiome as well. We've also got sunflower seed oil for that nourishment. We've also got glycerin and also beta glucan as well. So for that soothing and extra hydration support. And yeah, like I said before, it's such a lightweight gel consistency product. It can be a bit tricky to get out of the, of the tub because it's so incredibly like, um, 
it's basically like a balm that's kind of melting onto the skin already. So yeah, it's very difficult to dis to describe. However, um, you know, you just feel instantly hydrated on the skin. Like your skin has, you know, quenched that first, <laughs> if that makes sense. So we're gonna pause a little bit just on lightweight gel moisturizers and come back to them in the latter part of the video. But first up, um, I wanna talk about a recent discovery from Indeed Labs actually, which has really blown my mind in really strengthening my skin barrier. When my skin is being like a little reactive, a little sensitive, and I just need uncomplicated, simple ingredients to strengthen my barrier. And that is the Indeed Labs Inceramide Daily Moisture Cream. And as the name suggests, it does have a free ceramide complex in there, which contains ceramide AP, ceramide EOP and Ceramide NP, which is, you know, that common complex that you find in the likes of CeraVe. So this is a really good, not tube, because I think this elevates um, CeraVe's by a mile, um, but definitely if you are after, you know, a really sound ceramide complex, um, but you don't want to shop CeraVe, then this is definitely a fabulous alternative. And this moisturising cream also has the likes of avocado oil, it's got glycerin, cholesterol, squalane, allantoin and beta-glucan as well. So really fantastic ingredients just to repair, strengthen and hydrate and also soothe the skin. And speaking of repairing moisturisers, we have the Peace Out Repairing Moisturiser. Um, so this is um, not much of a new find probably in the last two months i received this product well yeah i mean you'd say that was new actually but yeah this absolutely hits the nail on the head in terms of repairing the skin and in terms of formulation and also texture of this product it's very similar to inceramide by indeed labs um so yeah it has that free ceramide complex it's got cholesterol it's got squalane um, it's got beta-glucan, so yeah, very similar. However, this moisturiser has Picuchal and CoQ10, which are really fantastic antioxidants to fight off the free radicals, as well as niacinamide and willow bark extract. So really great for your sensitive and also your acne and reactive skin type. And to continue our love for ceramides, I mean, like, what is not to love about ceramides? They're just absolutely incredible and so, like, reliable for all skin types and for absolutely everybody. Um, and so we have the Eyes by Sunday Riley. And so this moisturizing cream is thick, like it is thick. It's the thickest of moisturizers I have with me today, um, but yeah, absolutely oh so needed in the colder winter drier months of the year, especially for my combination skin. Like I would not touch this with a barge pole in the hot summer months of the year, but my skin has been lapping it up and it has been severely enjoying this currently. And as you would have guessed, it has that ceramide complex of the ceramide NP, ceramide AP and ceramide EOP. Um, just a fantastic complex, just again to strengthen and rebuild the skin. And even though it's super, super thick, it's got zinc gluconate in there, which is great for your acne prone skin types. Because at the end of the day, you don't have to have oily skin to have acne, you can have dry skin and acne. So yeah, that is a great ingredient just to battle that acne whilst also having it in a really thick, um, you know, luxurious and nourishing moisturiser. Um, it's also got linoleic acid in there, vitamin E, and also copper gluconate as well. So soothing, antioxidant properties, um, and also uh, barrier strengthening properties as well. And this moisturiser definitely smells like Play-Doh, which really takes me back to my childhood. Very nostalgic feeling when, when using this moisturiser. Um, but nonetheless, it's absolutely brilliant at really nourishing and hydrating the skin. Um, and, you know, popping it on the sensitive skin that I can experience. I'm sorry, but we are not leaving ceramides anytime soon. We have got three products left to feature today that all include ceramides in there, that are all great at rebuilding and strengthening the skin barrier in all different ways as well. Um, so first up, with needs no introduction is, well, I'm gonna say the introduction, um, but you guys know, it's the Beauty of Joson Dynasty Cream. I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing Beauty of Joson right this time. 
Oh, and so this bottle is unopened and I'm resisting the urge to open it because I know my skin absolutely loves this and I'm, you know, got a few moisturizers open at the minute so I kind of want to get those out of the way before opening another Dynasty cream. Um, but my good friend Tom sent me that and I'm so grateful because um, I just absolutely love it and he knows me so well. But yeah, the Dynasty cream is absolutely loaded with fantastic ingredients and it just ticks all the boxes of what you want in a moisturiser. It's lightweight but really nourishing on the skin. I'm pretty sure I've said this before that the first time I ever used this product I was actually quite scared to use it because I thought this is going to break me out, it's going to be too heavy for my skin. But then when I opened that lid and I saw that gooey goodness, I was just sold. <laughs> and in terms of ingredients, it's got the likes of ceramide NP, it's got squalene, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, it's got safflower seed, it's got Japanese gold thread in there. It's just got a whole load of fantastic ingredients just targeting multiple different skin concerns of irritation, inflammation, um, reactiveness, it's got a weak, you know, for weakened skin barrier, for your acne prone skin types, just it's, it's basically magic in a bottle or dynasty in a bottle. <laughs> and now we are down to our last two products, which makes me so sad because I could just talk forever and ever about these moisturizers, but you know, I don't want to make an hour long video and bore the hell out of you guys. But yeah, anyway, on to the last two and here we have the Colorex Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. And you might be thinking it's a mask, not a moisturizer, but in my eyes, it's a moisturizer because you, you know, put it onto your skin and you leave it on and you wake up with absolutely to die for skin. So even yesterday, my skin was feeling a little bit sensitive. It was getting, you know, a bit irritated with my contact dermatitis around my nose area. And I just recently, you know, shaven as well. So my skin was, you know, a little bit through the mill anyway. And last night I put this on and I just woke up like, like I, I feel like I could have been the sun or something. Like I was shining glowiness <laughs> out of me. <laughs> Try not to be too big headed there but if you wake up and you think girl your skin is looking good today because it doesn't really happen that often then you know you should own that and you should love it. And so as the name suggests it is loaded with rice extract in there and in particular it's got 68.9% extract which is just really going to help nourish and brighten the skin um, and you know that just in keeps with Cosrx and their fantastic formulations and you know same basically what it is on the tip. And we've also got the likes of sunflower seed oil, which is great at nourishing the skin. We've got arginine, which is a fantastic amino acid to hydrate. Further hydration, we've got glycerin, and we've also got allantoin as well to soothe the skin. And what really surprised me about this moisturizer slash mask is it's so lightweight onto the skin. Like a little goes a very long way, but that doesn't compromise on the nourishment and the hydration and the overall like results the day after. Like it just absolutely delivers in all aspects of what you want as a moisturizer or overnight mask. And last but not least is another find of the year for me personally. <laughs> and so that is the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. Oh my God. I am just totally and utterly obsessed with this product. So this is a lightweight, very like jelly consistency type of moisturizer that is perfect for your oily and your combination skin types. But that doesn't mean it doesn't deliver on that nourishment and that barrier building strengthening properties either. And I say that because it has got your three ceramide complex in here. Yes, in this lightweight goodness of a moisturiser. Um, so yeah, it's got your ceramide NP, ceramide AP, ceramide EOP. It's also got your cholesterol as well just to enhance that skin barrier restorative properties. But not only that, it's got glycerin, it's got sodium hyaluronate in there to hydrate the skin. Most incredibly, it's got a 72% concentration of Centella Asiatica leaf extract in there. So that's just going to soothe the skin down instantly. It's going to really hydrate the skin and really protect the skin as well. And, and 
you have got my favourite tranexamic acid, which is just going to target that hyperpigmentation and that uneven skin tone. Yes, this really is one of my favourite, favourite moisturisers, not just of 2021, but I can hand on my heart say, hand on my heart which is down here, say that this is one of my favourite moisturisers of all time. And so that rounds up my favourite moisturisers of 2021. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and I really do hope that you've been inspired by some of the choices here today. There really have been products and textures and you know, different targeted skin concerns for absolutely everybody and anyone. So yeah, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you very, very soon for a brand new one. See you later. Bye-bye.